Well, it holds a fountain of memories that never runs dry. And we're talking about the Ritter Park Fountain in Huntington, where for months people have been wondering when the water will start flowing again. 13 News reporter Tiffany Lopez joins us now live with an update. Tiffany. Rob, Jennifer, good evening. Nothing has been coming out of the pipes that you see behind me here for a while now. And with homecoming season here, it's one of the most popular places to take those pre-dance pics. And today I found out the update on this staple in the community is almost complete. It's probably the most photographed thing within our city. It's 20 years old, and it's just about everyone's favorite place to visit, especially when it comes to capturing that picture-perfect moment. Every commencement, um, when somebody gets married. If you go to any of our banks, many of our businesses in town, you'll see pictures of the Ritter Park Fountain. All these different occasions, this is where they actually come. But the fountain was in dire need of an update, so Sterling and the Park Board got together and came up with a plan and some money. After months of repairs that include replacing a leaky fiberglass bottom and new plumbing, the fountain is just days from being a favorite backdrop once again. This fountain's facelift costs nearly $135,000. Once they're finished, it'll not only have a new spray pattern, but it'll also have multicolored lights and it'll be able to put on a show like never before. A center jet, main jet and then eight jets around it that will allow the waters to dance uh, uh, do different patterns, different things. The new lighting will be LED lighting that will be, uh, we'll be able to change the colors as we want to. While the theatrics of the fountain will be a sight to be seen, there's something else. Each time this fountain is in the background, you're also capturing the memory of Sterling's family. It's dedicated to my grandfather and my family actually gave the fountain for my family, for my grandfather. Now, Parks and Rec Director Kevin Brady says they should be able to get some water in it this evening, and they will hopefully be doing some test runs tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in Huntington, Tiffany Lopez, 13 News, working for you. I know a lot of people are excited about Thanks so much, Tiffany.